Last time I made a video how you can get into a car and drive it. I got some funny reactions like this one. Bro, can you do this for an airplane? So for an airplane, no problem. Normally I would say try it for yourself because it's basically the same steps as we do for the car. But it's so fun to ride these vehicles and import them, so I will do it again. Go to the asset store, search for standard assets by Unity Technologies and just download them and import them into your project. As soon as you are ready, you should see a folder named standard assets and right below it there should be one with the name vehicles and then aircraft and prefabs. And here we have some prefabs. Um, I will take the air aircraft prefab because this one is the one that looks the most amazing. So. I have a start and landing sequence here. There's enough space to start. And the first thing we always get rid of is the user control. We just delete or deactivate the script with the name aeroplane user control to access. So, and now we do the same thing again with the player controller. Um, I will put you a link to the video with the car in the description because the video is a little bit more detailed and I will go through it very fast right now. This is a script that is sitting on top of my character. So the first thing I should um, do is fetching those reference to uh, the plane. So what I will do is I will create a new property. I will call this aircraft controller and the type is aeroplane controller. Why aeroplane controller? Because if we have a look at our airplane jet, it has an aeroplane controller script. And with this script, we can access all the things we need to manipulate the aircraft so that we can fly it. At first, the controller will be underlined and we can solve this by just adding the using unity assets dot vehicles dot aeroplane to our script as we did with the car already. In the main update loop, uh, loop, I already have a walk, a shoot, a jump, and a crouch um, controller and a car update for my previous videos. But now we want to use the uh, aeroplane controller. So um, we will do the same thing here. As soon as we have a reference to our aircraft um, controller, we shouldn't do anything with the um, character. The character just, just disappear. And the same uh, counts for the car update. So if the aircraft controller is now, then we can do the uh, car update and the other way around. If the car controller is now, we can do the aircraft update. And the aircraft update is the one we are generating right now. Now I see I have the car update already, so I really recommend you to watch the car um, video first because I will mainly copy it all. This is just uh, to show you how you can take one concept and transport it or transfer it to another thing like a car and an airplane. So I just will um, copy this all and change everything. So we will still use the car button. Um, to detect if we can get into a car. And when the aircraft controller is null, so we have no reference to it, um, then it means that we are controlling either a car or the character, but definitely not an aircraft. So as soon as we press the button, um, we stop pressing the button immediately and we create an overlapping sphere um, with a width of two... Um, two units and we go through all the colliders that are in our range and if one of the collider is a aeroplane controller we know oh this is our aeroplane okay i will just um, remove every car and set it to aeroplane so this is a point where we should be in the aircraft and now here comes the thing that we have to um, just that we have to change I guess a little bit more than the other one so drive the car is now fly the plane and we should use the aircraft controller so the transform position should be the same as the aircraft uh, the camera position should be the same as the aircraft as well and the rotation we should look at the aircraft so 
So and car button pressed, if we press it again, we release the aircraft controller and set the object active again. So the only thing that, that really changes from the car is this part. And this part is how to move. There is, I think there is no move. Oh, there is a move. So, and here we have five inputs. Roll input, pitch input, jar input, throttle input, air brakes. The roll is a rotation uh, around this axis, so we can fly that way. The pitch is a rotation around this axis, so we can ascend and descend. And the jar is a rotation around this axis. And this is all we need to control our um, airplane. So you might ask what is throttle input and air brakes. It's very simple. It's just the speed and the brakes. And this is my first try of assignment. So I will set the roll input to the horizontal input via the joystick or via the um, keyboard. And the second one was the pitch input by the left joystick vertical axis or the keyboard vertical axis. And uh, I set the jar input to zero because you don't really need that to fly your airplane. And the throttle input uh, should be one as soon as I press the jump button and as soon as I release it, it should be zero. So um, maybe we create a break. Um, if we press the jump button, it shouldn't break. And if we press it, it should break. So it's a bool. I will just um, flip the bool value and let's see if this is already working. So here we go. I'm going towards the airplane and try to get in, but unfortunately it does not work. I uh, have to set a collider that we can collide with. So this is a range the player can use to get into uh, the airplane. Set it as a trigger, so otherwise the plane would make um, some weird moves. So make sure here is a trigger. And the other thing is the car button press because it's already reverted in the car update and here again. So we will set it a little bit lower. So as soon as we um, hit a car, we set the car button press to false and we do the same thing here. So now we should be able to reach this. As you can see now, I'm entering the collider. I'm in the sphere. I click on car and then the code, the code itself, um, the physics engine checks all the colliders. We have 12 colliders, it's a lot. Uh, for example, we collide with the cube, the wing, the alien, so some parts of the um, actual aircraft we collide with ourselves. So the body wide capture, the body center capture, and um, with the ground, of course, and the aircraft jet. So the last thing that we collide with should be the airplane. So uh, I could go through this over and over again, but I can just click on continue and there we go. Car button pressed will be reserved and uh, the aircraft jet will be assigned to the aircraft controller and the vendor is not active anymore. One last thing you should care about is a capsule collider. So make sure you turn it off. Uh, otherwise the uh, plane will behave a little bit weird. You just turn it uh, off as a renderer so that you don't see anything related to the character and the collider. And you can um, turn it off here and turn it here back on again. So we two. Just uh, keep it always as the same state as the renderer. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. I will spend the rest of my day uh, flying this airplane around because it's had a lot of fun. So look at this. It looks gorgeous. It makes fun. Uh, hopefully I can land it on the same space again, but it's hard to control. <laughs> no, I'm not able to land it. So, but it's fun to fly around with this airplane. And yeah, leave a like, leave a comment and suggest more videos if you want to see more.